Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2 and welcome to a very special video. Uh, in today's video we are doing something very special because today, not tomorrow, but like, you get what I mean, uh, will be Australia Day and when the part 2 video out, part 2 video comes out it will be Australia Day and uh, yes. Or maybe it's the other way around, it's Australia Day today and tomorrow it won't be. I don't know, but um, it's Australia Day, kind of, so I thought I'd make this two-part Australia Day special, so I live in Australia. Um, so yes, it's a uh, pretty cool delivery, but we'll talk about that once we get moving. So we'll set up the train, we can set up the freight, the dead, everything off. Accept that. We need to turn banking comp on, sanding off, you two on, you on. We need to put throttle to four. Wait till the amps rise to maximum. Oh god, there we are. Right, then we just need to keep adding power. No, that's gone wrong. Alright, so we're going to wait for three. Level four, is that going to go into the red? No, it's not. It's going to bail everything off. Hopefully we'll get moving. Hopefully we'll get moving. Hello, we're gonna move. Today it'd be nice. So you're gonna move. One train. Yeah, I didn't think that'd work. Maybe we'll go to throttle three. See what happens. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll go to this and then total one, total two, total three, total four, and total five. No oh, bugger! Buggered that one up. So we need to. Oh god. No, okay, that's this gone badly wrong. Okay, then total four. Yes. Then five. No. Okay, so what I need to do is we need to wait till we start to accelerate. When we get to point two, we go to total five. Yes. Come on. No. Oh. Okay, throttle three. We'll start with that. So we're going backwards, train. Okay, throttle four. It's good. It's good. Come on, there's some sounding. Right. Throttle five. Throttle six. Yes, now we've got it. Yes, right, full throttle. No! Throttle seven. Um, Alright, that'll be good. So there are some AI services. Quite a lot, actually. Considering this route. I'm aware this is going to be very loud, but you know, what can you do? So, uh, taking a look at the outside the speeding. That we shouldn't be for much longer because the hill is so goddamn steep on this route. No? Right, we'll leave it for the three. Maybe we can keep dipping or go something else. Yeah, okay, we'll for the four. That should be good. Uh, so, basically, on the outside, we've got. Australian day with the Australian green and yellow. And then we got 
this side is the same blue as on the Australian flag. Probably speaking, we've got the Australian flag this 2021 because it is 2021. It's going to be a better year than 2020. And we've got chevrons on the front, because why not? Uh, so that's basically the livery. And yes. Uh, I'm going to turn some lights on. Do anything? I think it does. Um, tendant call. Don't know what that would do. Ah, looks all good for now. So, yes. And uh, so, this is basically what we'll be doing the next two videos and I guess Australia kind of overlapped from our 200 subscriber milestone so uh, it's pretty neat um, so yes and uh, the reason why I chose this train someone said it because it might seem an odd choice for Australia Day considering that we're in America but there is method in the madness as one would say because this is the only train in the game, well, American, this, the GP38, by the way, we're driving the SD40, so the, the SD40, the GP38, and the, a, a, the AC4400 CW are the only trains in this game that are used in Australia, because all of the really, really long iron ore trains out in Western Australia in particular they're all private railways, so like Rio Tinto and BHP. They're all private railways, which means they can do whatever they want, which means they buy in American trains, just American trains like this. And they have massive iron ore trains, like these. They set the record for the world's longest train. Um, and they... I mean, most other freight trains in the country are mostly old, I, basically they're American, they're like a GP38 or an SD40, it's just stuck in an Australian based body shell, and they're the, like the body shell and the construction, the final assembly is built by an Australian company, well, traditionally, but the um, other stuff that make the engine and drive train and stuff are built by Americans. They're built by EMD mostly. So, yeah. Um, so, we've got 16 miles to go in this episode, and we've got, you know, the rest of the journey. So, going up to Sandpatch and then down the hill in the next episode. I suspect the first one will be shorter than the second video. I know that's just how stuff will be. And uh, it's a good time now to point out that only ten percent of my of my view hours come from people who were subscribed. So I know subscribing doesn't always mean much to you guys, but it really means a lot to me. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed. And if you like my content, make sure you subscribe. It's free. You can change your mind, and it really helps me out. I just copied what Dream said. It works for me. <laughs> so, yes. And uh, so it's not the normal reskin recap video, I can definitely, definitely say that. But, um, you know, it's an interesting one. And there'll be lots of screenshots today. And uh, this was home, this was self made, so not like the uh, other reskin recap videos where I just downloaded it off the internet. This one was made by myself. And uh, that flag took an awfully long time. And it's still not perfect, but I tried my best. So, yes. And uh, I'm aware that most of my audience is from Britland. Um, and myself I came from there but I live in Australia now and that's I like it here and because I live in Australia everyone celebrates Australia Day which is the day that 
Captain Cook came here. It's not the day of the First Fleet, the first actual people who settled here. It's the day that Captain Cook claimed Australia for Britain. Um, which, you know, the Aboriginal people of Australia argued that it's actually should be called Invasion Day because they owned and managed the land a lot more sustainably for 40,000, maybe up to 60,000 years. Um, and so for the British to come here and say that everyone here is not civilised and we're going to teach you and, you know, the stolen generations earlier, later on in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, where they forcibly removed children from their parents to re-educate them into the white way of living. You know, a lot of people aren't, especially outside Australia, aren't aware that that's happened. So, uh, just thought I'd bring your attention to the atrocities. That have, oh, I did the wrong thing there. Attention to the atrocities that have occurred. Uh, so yes, uh, but back to the Australia Day traditions here in Sydney, where I live. It's um, one of the more famous things that we do. Is it's uh, illegal not to have, similar to in America, but um, in America it applies all the time. Just on corn. Uh, similar to in America, where you have to have a flag all the time in everywhere, otherwise you're a commie. Uh, in Australia, only on Australia Day does everyone need to have a flag everywhere they can put one. Um, and we also, in Sydney, we have the, uh, the ferry race, which is where they race all of the Sydney ferries, which mostly are uh, 3,000 year old pieces of you know, metal that haven't sank yet literally and they just race them and several times they've had boats sink literally one of them sank after doing that race uh, a while ago um, but some of the more Australian Australia Day traditions fell off after this the most Australian Australia Day traditions are coffee Drinking lots and lots of coffee on Australia Day because um, we are, unlike America and the UK, we have, we're, after the Second World War, we had a lot of Italian immigrants come to the country and they brought their coffee culture amongst other things. And so you got a really rich barista coffee culture. You know, espresso is hugely popular and all the classic Italian traditions have been brought over instead of like in the UK where you just go to Starbucks and you they just give you what you want in 30 seconds it's in Australia you get to know your barista that's why Starbucks failed it they approached with a whole different way that Australia was used to um, anyway the next thing and probably more common thing is to um, have a barbecue it's, you know, everyone's heard of the phrase, chuck another shrimp on the barbie. Even though all Australians know it should be prawns, but that was actually from an ad targeted at Americans who called them shrimp. So that's why they called it shrimp. The creator of the ad even admitted to uh, it being wrong. But, you know, in Australia, it's not definitely, definitely not shrimp. It's prawns, but whatever. Um, yeah, barbecue, barbecue, whatever, but barbecue anything barbecue everything, even. Um, it's a pretty cliche tradition, but it, everyone does it, because why wouldn't you? It's a day trip, but not with COVID, but traditionally you get your relos, your ex all of your extended family, everyone from your street, uh, everyone in your whole suburb, and then everyone in your whole city together, and you just put every single item of food you can find, even sometimes not food, barbecue and then eat it. Um, and then have some middle-aged men with really bad aprons and tongs uh, tell you how good their cooking is even though it's complete trash. Um, then because of course it's summer here, it's winter where the UK is but it's summer here and uh, because of that it's very hot uh, and because of that, we like to go to the beach to cool off. Again, not with COVID, 
but yeah, going to the beach, having a barbecue at the beach with your coffee. Even better. Some corn. Right, lovely corn. They are cruising in a comfortable 15. This is nice. I like this. Um, then, you know, cool down because it's very hot. And um, watch the Australian Open. Because, again, not with Covid, even though the Australian Open is going on. Which, you know, against many people's wishes. Most people think that that really should not be happening. But, you know, whatever happens. Speaking of which, here comes our first AI service in um, CSX and Australia Delivery. So that's nice. Or maybe this is a grain train, I don't know, but that one's definitely controlled. It was the longest I could find, because, you know, why not, so that um, keep the noise down, accelerate straight up. Um, and then, you know, try to fry an egg on the pavement, because it's so hot. That's pretty common. And then making, s singing some Australian, famous Australian ballads reading and um, slash talking about poetry, famous Australian poetry, um, all of this stuff happens all the time. And there's lots of fire, well, traditionally there were lots of fireworks, lots of fireworks. Uh, it's basically like, um, like Thanksgiving is for the Americans, it's like that. But for us and without turkey and not close to Christmas even remotely and better because it's Australia and we're not weirdos sorry Americans I know there aren't any Americans in my viewing audience but if I have uh, there are any Americans, you're not weirdos, that was a joke, and I know you think Australians are weird, but kind of also like Australia at the same time. You know, the gun law problem with us in America, we've got the strongest gun laws in the world in Australia, you know, and Americans don't like that. You know, whatever. Whatever. Um, yes, if we read the Wikipedia article on Australia Day, it is observed annually on the 26th of January our time, which means it's um, generally acclaimed to be the year before British time, the year before. Um, lots of stuff happens, like they've got a picture here with the uh, Young Endeavour, which is a mock-up of the ship Captain Cook sailed here in. Um, oh no, I tell a lie! It's not when Captain Cook came, it was when the first fleet arrived in 1788. And uh, it happens annually, it's observed by citizens, residents, and expatriates. It is a Nash, so there's a bank holiday. And uh, observances are family gatherings, fireworks, picnics and barbecues, parades, citizenship ceremonies, Australia Day honours, Australian of the Year presentation. So, yes. Um, However, it is uh, now, you know, a very hotly debated thing. Mourning at what is seen to be the invasion of the land by the British and the start of colonisation, protesting its celebration as a national holiday. Uh, sometimes referred to the 26th of January is Invasion Day, Survival Day, or Day of of it as counter celebration to advocate that the date should be changed or that the holiday should be abolished entirely. So um, that's that. God, why is my mouse not working? And uh, yeah, so that's that. As I said, it's a very hotly debated subject. 
in Australia, whether it should be Invasion Day or um, Australia Day. No. It, it is very hotly debated. But anyway. Uh, speaking of which, I'm not actually recording this on Australia Day. Um, I'm recording this on a, the Saturday before. Because I'm trying to stockpile as many videos as I can. And yes, so that's Australia Day, and uh, this is our fantastic Australia Day livery. If our frame rate would like to come back to join us, that would be nice. So, yes, this is a uh, very nice train. It's a very long train as well. Happened to notice that. And I know Anthony Picar Pekara I'm gonna say his name correctly. Um it's Anthony Peck heck of something, I'll find it. And uh, the train's just gone past, so yes. Uh, if we do the um, lifetime date subscribed to 50. Uh, da -ba -da -ba, da -da -da. We have uh, da, da, da. no, not on there. Alf, uh, it's Anthony Anthony Pecoraro, I think it is, who uh, politely commented last time I did a video on Sam Patch Grave, uh, and said that these trains are very long politely commented and said that they're twice as long normally. So, you know, oh, this isn't a very long train, apparently. This is a very short train, actually, in the grand scheme of things. Yes. That, that was a bit of a joke. That wasn't a very good, funny joke. Anyway. Um, I am also conscious that we are slowing down. Also conscious that we should stop sounding. Let's call the attendant to jump off so uh, we can go faster. So yeah, whilst we're at it, uh, our horn's broken. Anyway, fix that. Leave the bell on till we get past this uh, level crossing here, or somewhere, don't even know. Where are we? In which there is a, uh, a light loco movement, we we'll get down the line, so uh, we might be able to grab the screenshot of this. A lovely screenshot, it will be, if we can get it. Where's the light loco gone? Where is it? Oh, it's still all the way up here. Okay, it's coming though. Grab some screenshots whilst we are. It'd be nice if we could go slightly faster than 34. This is quite slow. Where is our light loco? We should be picking up speed now. There is our light loco. Yes, we're on a flat grade, so we should be right full speed. Okay, light loco is coming along.
Did I get it? No, I didn't get it. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, worth trying. Grab some more screenshots, trying not to get leaves in the way. It's a bit of a bug when you come back into the cab and it's very loud. Why? Uh, anyway, we are cruising at a comfortable 38, but we are slowing down again. Though here the track looks to be levelling on. Uh, I think it is, yeah. So again, should be able to pick up some nice speed here, even though the limit is now going down. Which is nice. That's just what I wanted. I haven't driven on this route for so long. Literally ages since I've done this. And you, and you never know. I just forgot how long and slow this is. So I'm not even bothered about the 55 of it because I'm not even going to get there anytime soon. Just hit 40. Just hit 40. So, you know. Who knows how long it will take to get to 55, 60, 70. Who knows, man, if we get to 80 at all. And of course we're on the uphill again, so it doesn't help. Um, so going at 60 kilometers an hour, that's very embarrassing. Yeah. And uh, the speed limit that we're just about to approach, the 55 limit, is about 90 kilometres an hour. So, um, if, if only we could do 90, that would be very nice. But we can't, so we won't be able to. You, know, you would have thought that it would have been easier just to, because of course there's a valley, river valley, whatever. I would have thought it would just be easy to build a tunnel. It's only 16 miles. There's the crow flies. And you know, we're actually going further away from where we're meant to be. We're going away from where we're going to... And with all the curves, this route's 100 miles, almost. And uh, we're also losing speed. Yippee! I should have done this for the AC4400 shouldn't I? And then done a really short train so I could do this quicker. Ugh! Life's mistakes start coming at you. Let's have some fun, shall we? We'll have a walk around what's in our fuse cabinet. What if we take a fuse out? No, we can do that. Fuse test light. Is that going to do anything? No. Main circuit. I'm not going to play with the MCB. I'm not going to play with any of this. Turn the radio on. Why not? Um, warning devices. No, we hate them. We'll leave them off. Any more fuses we can play around with? Lights, engine room lights on, number lights on. Um, that's all good. What's our speed? 38. Lovely. SD40-2. Oh yeah, go for a walk around outside, up the front. Lovely.
I mean, this route is just absolutely picturesque, isn't it? I'd love to do this in real life. I mean, I'm totally getting an you know, absolute butt ton of trouble for it. And who cares about trouble? Who cares about trouble? Oh, that's not a door, is it? The door's over here. Come out this end. Uh, where are the latches for the engine? Somewhere here. There. Where is the engine? Is that the engine? I think it might be, and then oh, yeah, it's an absolutely massive engine. That should lock that one back up. Open this crossing. Usually it should have a thing saying that if I can cross, clearly not, we should totally be able to climb up that ladder. What, 8134 and 843? Uh, we can have a close-up look of my livery. Yeah. You can even hear me over the engine. Which can we uh, unlock? Any of these doors? I'll take that as a no. Can't even get past there. Anyway, this is a lovely route. I, I definitely do not want to go down there. So, considering that we can't get up there, we'll close the cross. And uh, back in the cab, we're now at 35 again. Starting to wonder, should we maybe ditch some of the coaches? I think that'd be a very funny idea. So, um, what if you just start with one? Oh no! The coaches! Oh dear! Right, that's one. Oh no! We're losing our coaches! Oh dearie me! Let's go for a triple whammy. Oh no, not more! Oh, that was three of them! Oh no, oh god, no, that could be very bad. If that doesn't stop before the signal... Oh, mind you, it's got an extra million yards into the signal because how long the train is. I've just got to watch that they don't run behind the signal because then they'll cause us to spad. Although it should stop. Hopefully. Have you stopped yet? Oh, bugger, you haven't. Could you please stop? Please, please, please stop. I didn't know, seriously, please stop. Right, if we just come over here and then hope that it despawns. Oh, yeah, it'll stop. Easy, easy. Yeah, have they stopped or are they rolling down the hill? No, they have to stop. Okay. So maybe we'll do one at a time then. It's like an explosive bolt, isn't it? Just watch it with the signals as well. Make sure got enough clearance for the signal. And bye bye! A double whammy because we've got a long time until the signal. But considering that we got a long time until the signal, we're going to do four at once. Yeah, you'll stop in time. The 
look at that, it's magic, we're accelerating. Uh, we're making a bit of a mess, but you know, we are accelerating and that's what matters. And that's going to stop before the signal, yeah. Why don't we do... Quickly, that. And then you'll stop. And then just keep going. Provided that doesn't crash and derail. No, that helped stop it down, actually. But brilliant planning. We've got time for one more coach before the signal. You know, I got two because the signal's way up there. Brilliant. I really love this idea of mine. It's a brilliant idea. Once the rear of the train gets past this signal, we can let maybe five coaches go. I know it seems a lot, but... Okay, now I've gone past, we can let that one go. We can let all of these ones go. Just to make us go faster. They do have brakes on them. Now I've got a much shorter train and we should, you know, accelerate a little bit faster. I can already hear us accelerating faster. I'm going to turn the sanding and this cab on. I'm going to turn the generator on as well and we'll leave the sanding on so and we'll turn the lights on, get more moody. Now I'm surprised it took me that long to realise to ditch the coaches. You know, ditching the coaches always works as a brilliant solution for every problem. Unless you're running on the real railway, of course, in which you should sort of do that. I, I didn't tell you to ditch your coaches. And if you get fired, it's not my fault. I'm very good at issuing legal advice. I think you should have noted that. Also, I'm just a bit curious. Are the coaches still moving? Oh, goodness, they are. The bigger ones move a lot, a, a lot faster. I've just got to watch that they don't spad. They're still in the same signal block as us. But they're going to stop. But yes, now we've ditched a lot of our coaches. We're actually accelerating a lot. The only problem is now that there's a 35 limit and we missed it. Yeah. Well, I mean, what can you do? Yeah, I do love this. Oh god, we even s we're still slowing down. Are you kidding? You serious? We're actually still slowing down. Okay. I think when I said, are you serious, Siri went, oh, you just said something and you said my name. I hate Siri when she, she, it, me, whatever. What's that?
Okay. I think it's time for a much shorter drive past. Wow, look at how short this train is. It's still pretty long by like commuter train standards, but eh. Maybe some trains, like a two, a Eurostar or something, might be this long. Oh god, very loud. I have a feeling we should ditch a few more coaches still. If we ditch those four, I've got two miles to stop, which I feel like they will do. And we're on a massively steep uphill. Yeah, they're already going to stop. And we're not moving very fast. You know, it would be even funnier if they started rolling back the hill and they made it over the points and switched the points and then they roll backwards. Now, I think we've got to ditch another coach. Yeah, that should be good. Maybe another another two coaches. Just to make ourselves a little bit lighter. And then if we uh, check on, on the pause menu, we should see that we're a lot lighter. And we're a lot shorter. They were 500 yards, and now we're half that. Yeah, and you can see why. We are making quite a mess, though. But, you know, we're not decelerating anymore. We're not decelerating too quickly. So we should be able to cruise just like this for the next little while. Still got 13 miles to go. You know, we've only actually gone th got three miles closer than Cumberland is. We're only three miles closer here than we are than Cumberland, even though we've gone half the distance by rail. But, you know... Whatever happens. We would have got there a lot faster had we ditched the coaches earlier, or had I just straight up ditched half of them. The mind me, they could have derailed if I did that. No, who gives a damn? I was starting to worry that my computer might be overheating. Because it is very hot. Um, in this room, at least. And I've turned the fan off so I can record. It's 25, 26, and it's 9 o'clock at night. And I've got an absolute boiling hot computer in front of me. Oh well, make the most of what you have. At least you have a computer in front of you. There are a lot less privileged people in the world. It would be, wouldn't be complaining even if I had a computer running on Windows 97. Oh, we're speeding! God, I didn't think I'd be saying that in the near future. Come on, frames, come back, please. Yes, I'm 50 frames a second now, that's what I said. And uh, now that arse end of the train's gone past, we'll back, go back up to full throttle. Going up to. Oh. Um, why does it go up to 35 and then 200 yards goes back to 30? That makes no sense. Unless it has a different speed on top. But, but no, it's. What's the point of that? Seriously. Come on, CSX. What is the point of that? Or whoever owns the route. But, like, that section. Oh, yes, we'll do. Do this, and uh, there goes a, another train. Just gonna come round the bend. Look at that! Isn't it lovely?
Oh god, I love dogs barking off the heads. So uh, we're running at 15 frames a second. Might as well be sponsored by Palm. And when I do this, we run at 50. We do this. Oh well, we run at 15. Turn over here. Starts going back up to 50. Right, we'll hop back in the cab then. Go back up to full throttle. Come on, be quiet. Oh wow, we've done an extra mile. Does he stop? No, I thought it stopped. Uh, so the route's pretty straight, except for those curves. We've still got about an extra mile in that. But anyway, we'll stay at full throttle because I want to be as close to 31, like 30 30.9, 30.9999, 30.99999. 30 uh, once we get to this 35, then we'll just keep going. Up to Hopefully, it doesn't go back to 30 in like two seconds. No, we got five miles, well, like two and a half miles until it goes back to two and a half miles at 30. Wow, look at that. The only problem is I'm not sure if we're accelerating or decelerating. We are quite a short train now, so... Um, oh no, there it is, one mile. At this rate, it might as well have been a light loco move, I just wanted to make it more realistic. You know, I'm starting to regret that now. At least we're holding some freight. I mean, someone might get very cranky when they, you know, you get half them. And that's like when you order something on Amazon, and it's like two parts, so it comes with two boxes, and only one box arrives. Or you order two of something, and you only get one. Or the inverse, where you order one of something, and you get two. But that's that's not a problem. That's a good thing. Now I've still got the sand on on both locomotives. That's fine. Versa handle must be removed when unit is in trailing position. Come on train, you know you want to accelerate, you've got a nice high speed limit. Whatever. 11 miles to go! It's very nice. And uh, here comes our next train. Bloody hell, they're coming. An absolute sweet. There it goes. It's in double Australia delivery. And uh, there it is. Cruising along. Hopefully we can maintain this speed. I can notice just by monitoring the pixels. The pixels are just slightly receding. So it looks like they're actually going... No! They're going back up. Okay, that's alright. We'll keep, keep it at 30. Just gotta watch we don't start speeding. Oh, yep. Yeah. Stay at 30. I wish these trains had cruise control. It makes my life so much easier. Just gotta bring back down. Bring it back down to like 30.0 and then let it raise back up to um, 30.9. Ish. And that we can monitor the speed. Now there should be a tunnel around here somewhere. I believe. Um, is that? Yeah, it's there. So, yes. Oh, speeding.
And that's the sound of an engine that's decelerating. Right, back to throttle 8. God, you can see why they want a powerful locomotives to get up this bloody hill. I hate it. That's, that's a lie, I don't hate it. Oh, it's a dog. I thought that was a person. Hello. What do you want? Dog. I'm a speeding because I was distracted. Can I... No. Oh, God, you've got all tangled with string, haven't you? God, you dumbass. Bye, dog. There it goes. Bit of a shake. And he's off. Oh, less than ten miles as the crow flies. Will be more than that on the tracks. Whatever. Why are the speed limit so low? I hate it so bad. What you doing? Oh yeah, you can pull the blind up. It's very hot. Alright, so I'll just turn my fan on because it's very hot. Um, yeah. Now my cursor broke again. It does that a lot of the time. Down to throttle seven. Oh god. Okay. And uh, as soon as we get back to. Uh, 30. Start accelerating back up again. God, this is taking a while, isn't it? On the way back down, it should be easy because you've got a lighter train and we're going downhill most of the way. So, you know, that'll be part two. I don't think I've only made one video that had a part one and a part two. It was the asset inspection train. So, you know, be part two. And maybe I'll do a something or other special. And uh, I just watched the video that revealed. I mean, when I say just, I mean an hour ago before I started recording. Um, video where Dovetail announced the release date of Southeast High Speed. Very excited about that'll be very cool. So, yes. And uh, another thing that I am very much, well, less so very much, but probably going to do in the near future is a uh, bit of a race. And that'll be a small, racy type thing. I'll organise the trains into heats of like British multiple units, British locos, British uh, like British diesel multiple units, British EMUs, British locomotives, um, and then like German EMUs, German DMUs. I just don't think there are any German EMUs, German diesel locos, German electric locos, high speed trains, which you now will be a separate category because they're a um, 
two ICE variants, a um, another amongst other things. And we'll have um, American trains, which will be the big boys, American DMUs, American diesels, mainly. And uh, I think the rule will be if it's not an EMU, or if it's not a multiple unit, it won't be running with coaching stock. So yes, like the locos, but the locos, the, so they'll be in different heats, and then there'll be a winner of each heat, and then an overall winner, and it'll be on the island line, because the island line's cool, um, and it's short, so I can do it quickly, and it'll just be first off the mark, and then first to finish. Finishing meaning crashing into the buffers at Sandown, Old Man 978 style. And go to 6 to start slowing down. Wowzers, look at that. Throttle 7, maybe? I'll go throttle 8. No, yeah, throttle 8. I was excited when the speed limit went up to 50. Now I'm very disappointed that it's not. But uh, we have got to 35, so that's good. Oh, only 7 miles till Sandpatch. Eh. 16 miles from there to there. But about 510. Going this wiggly wiggly long way round. Just build a tunnel. And then add some Amtrak services. We need more Amtrak. Definitely need more Amtrak, even though we're not getting in. This is not on the roadmap. I loved Peninsula Corridor. I should remaster it for this game, like they did for the other route. The um, the V V V um, this one, like they did for this one. That's, I'm all over the place. Yeah, because they remastered this one for this game, and then didn't bring forward the old version. They should remaster the um, Peninsula Corridor, and then not bring forward that because I haven't brought, brought it forward. I'm very disappointed about it because they totally should bring it forward. Oh look, 50. I like 50. 50 is a nice speed limit. It's a just, just a nice speed limit because it's fast. That's mainly it. And I like speed. Speed is... No. Oh! Speaking of speed, how am I speeding? I should probably pay more attention to that. I'll leave it at throttle 7 to try and hold that speed. Holding it very nicely. Come to the back of the train and full throttle. Oh, and up to 50. That's not even that steep. Come on, train, you know you want to go to 50. You know you want to go to 50. You know you want to be fast. I drove a light loco up here with ignoring the speed limits and it was like super ultra god, ultra god fast. It was the speediest thing. I was up to like 120 miles an hour. And now look where we are. Oh god, could we just hurry? Oh, oh, I don't want to be staying. <laughs> 
hour. I don't like hour long videos. Okay, we're at 37 here. So yes, looking forward to the 4th of February very much. So that is when the uh, southeastern high speed is coming out. So yes, and uh, I am aware that we're back down to 35. So uh, clearly, the train has not been listening to my advice. It's very apparent, and we are slowing down even more. Even though from the front of the train you can see the end, we are still slowing now. I think how many coaches do we have? We got single digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got 11 cars on this train, and we're still slowing down. <sighs> so in nicer news, got a new president in the United States. It's very nice. It's good. I've already talked about that. It's very weird, because I have to talk about stuff that's time relevant, but I don't know what's going to happen. The only thing good, we could all die in between the time now and when this video's actually made public. You know, what happens, happens. I mean, the 4th of February is going to be the 5th for me. Come on, stay at 30. You know you want to. You really do know you want to. No, don't go to 30. Don't go to 30. Just stay at 31. Why don't you just try your very hardest to, like, go to 30? And why couldn't they just build this in a straight line? <laughs> I think I would like to get rid of some more coaches, but it makes it more fun when it's not. Oh, God. <laughs> Yay. I just love this. I, I really don't. I, I don't love this. That was a, a joke. Oh, God. Oh, we're back up to 31. Okay, nice. That is very nice. I like going back up to 31. Can we go back up to 32? Let me go back to 32. Go on, why don't we go back to 32? Back to 32? Why don't we go back to 32? Go on, why don't you do it? Why don't you just... Why don't you just go back to 30... Go back to 31, and then maybe even up to 32, and then, you know, maybe a little bit more. And then just a, a, a touch more. And then, you know, a little bit more. And then, you know, a little, little, little bit more. And then a little bit more. And then just a little bit more. No, just keep going. Why don't you just keep going? You know? <sighs> Why did slow trains exist? We should just make sure that all trains have the capability to go at or above 160 k's an hour and or 160 miles an hour. No, that's the other way around. 160 kilometers an hour, 100 miles an hour. Because um, this is 
painfully, painfully slow. It's like I could drive a car. I could drive... What could I drive? I could probably drive a... To be honest, I could probably drive a smart car. This fast. Probably faster, actually. Now, why do bends exist? And why do all of these things exist? You could just speed up. And why do mountains exist, either? You've got a lovely river valley in there. Why don't you build the train line down here in that river valley? But no, you've got to build it on the side of a cliff. I mean, look, if you come further up here, you've got a road. You've got buildings in the middle. They know what they're talking about. A lake. Yeah, okay, you can build a route that curves around the lake. I don't know. They should make this route on Transport Fever 2. I would play that my heart out. Yeah, I know I stopped my Transport Fever 2 playlist because I couldn't be bothered to upload it and it was taking forever and I knew I wouldn't finish it because I have the time and I have more fun playing this game and it's about fun. And if I'm not having fun, I'm not going to do it. But look, look at how much space there is in the middle. How much space? There's, oh, we've got to put it on the side of the cliff because, you know, we're American and we're special... I mean, it curves all the way around there. You could just build it through the valley and it goes straight there, doesn't it? <sighs> and look, you had like 50 and 40 and 35 limits. You chose to stay at 30, 30. And now you've got 30 limits. You've lost your opportunity. God. I really like. I mean, I like I like the scenery and I like the trains. They're very nice. They're very big. They are absolutely massive. I just, I don't like the speed and a flatter route like the Peninsula Corridor. And I was speeding. Again, that's not something I thought I would be saying, but apparently it is. Notch 7, still not enough. Keep us in a steady speed. So we'll go notch eight. We've got bloody oh look at that curve. Absolutely massive. I mean just look at this curve. Running at very slow frame rates. Check that we're not speeding. Resisting my urge to ditch the coaches so hard. Such a hard thing to combat. I think I need to see a psychiatrist about it. Look at the way it snakes across the landscape. Come to the back because it's quieter. And fast, a lot fast. God, we're hitting 60. Except when we're not. Game. Behave. But uh, now it's pretty much a straight line, almost, to our destination. Which, uh, it's three miles away. I thought I said that. It was three miles away a while back. Sixteen miles taking an hour. I mean, sixty miles as the crow flies. That's um, an average speed as in as by the crow flies. It's sixteen miles an hour. More now. 
because it's taken us an hour and ten minutes to do this far. Go this far. I'm gonna do part two to this. I'm go there. Oh, it's kind of down the hill. Although I'm not sure how far. I'm going to Rookwood Main East. Where the hell that is, I'm not sure. Might be there. Might just be there. You know, who knows? But I think we've done the longer part of the. We've done definitely done the longer part of the route today. We've done about two thirds. They got a third to go probably. Anyway, uh, there should be a tunnel somewhere here. Yeah, there's going to be a tunnel there. So he's got something to look forward to. Oh god. I like this route, but I don't like this speed. Could we maybe go a little bit faster, please? 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 Have a look at my YouTube analytics whilst we wait. We've even got 35 limit now and we're still slowing down. <laughs> got 10,000 views in the last 28 days, of which 5,000 of them were in the last 7 days. It's absolutely insane. Got 61 subscribers in the last 7 days, which is also very cool. Got uh, 180 watch hours in the last seven days. So 209 subscribers as I record this. Of course, it'll probably be very different by the time we'll probably be at 220 by the time this video goes out. Because um, I'm recording this the same day that the dot pack tutorial went up. Let's see what our reach is. Got uh, 40,000 impressions. I uh, got a 8% CTR, that's pretty cool. I got 5,000 views, 2,000 unique viewers. Uh -huh. uh, people searching Train Sim World to Southeastern is bringing up my videos. Who knows why? Um, average view duration 2 minutes, which is a Above, that is going down. But, you know, who cares? Um, t average views per view is two. That makes sense. That sounds about right. Got a uh, 61 subscribers. Last 28 in the last seven days. So yeah, and 61% of people from the United Kingdom. Only less than 2% from Australia. Yes, only only 10% of you guys are subscribed. So you know, if you are subscribed, that'd be great. And uh, we're in the tunnel. It's, why don't you just build one of these? That's this long, or at least this long, because this river valley is very stupid. Um. And I love YouTube analytics because it gives me a breakdown of the male age, like the average, age, like the age demographic split into male and female. So That's interesting because I've got seven percent based on views. I've got seven percent female. And 93% male. Based on watch towers, it's watch hours. It's only 10%, 90%. So that means that I've got like one f or two fans that are female, and then the rest of them did it like I don't even know how that works. I'll stop pretending how I do. They're watching less, but they're watching more at the same time. They're not watching fewer videos, but more of it. 
I'll pretend I know how that works. Speaking of which, we're nearly there. Look at that. We are very close, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to like actually slow down. And are we going downhill now? Yippee. And uh, we're there. Only took an hour and 15 minutes. Had the vague idea I'd be able to render this video tonight. I'll have to wait till the morning as we're recording the second part. So I'm recording this in advance. So cruising at a very comfortable speed. We are going downhill, so I'm a little bit. It's a little bit peculiar whilst we are while we are slowing down. Yeah, we are actually going to need to speed up. Like, don't stop. Yes, right, good train. I know I've probably broken everything by now. Do I care? No, not really. Uh, don't know why we're slowing down. It's a one negative one in eighty-three. That's nearly as steep as the hill coming up. So why we're actually slowing down? Um, who knows? Need to ask Brian Cox. Uh, it's probably inside a tree. Look at those lovely leaves, very high detailed. And uh, so going down, we'll be able to go a lot faster because you know, we've got the hill. And uh, now we can start braking. If we stop before that marker, which we probably are going to do. Get very cross. Oh, why is this weight of all the vehicles moving back and forth that's causing the train to like, accelerate, burst, decelerate? Unexpected vehicle formation. Yes, that's because I've destroyed half the train. Uh, anyway, so we've got 12 miles to go, so we're going all the way up there. We've done most of that. that was 16 miles from in a straight line. This is more or less a straight line. So uh, we'll save that one for next time. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, all of that, and I will see you all next time.